Two statues which have sparked controversy over how they represent New Mexico history will soon be on display in Santa Fe. It's the latest development in the ongoing debate about how to commemorate our state's colonial past. News 13's Gabe Chavez is in Santa Fe this evening with a look at tonight's city council vote. Mayor Alan Weber says that this resolution has been six months in the making, working alongside tribal leaders and groups celebrating Spanish heritage. The goal is to respect uh, both cultures, all cultures, and to stimulate a learning dialogue around Santa Fe history, around the history of northern New Mexico. This comes after years of tension surrounding monuments around the city of Santa Fe, depicting its colonial and at times bloody history. One statue is a depiction of conquistador Don Diego de Vargas, who reclaimed the Santa Fe territory after the Pueblo revolt of the 1680s. The second sculpture shows the other side of the conflict, depicting the Pueblo runners who were hanged for alerting other tribes about the uprising against the Spanish. The resolution places the Don Diego statue in the New Mexico History Museum and the Pueblo runners in the convention center with information on the history behind the statues. The plan has drawn protests from separate groups opposing each of the statues. However, at tonight's city council meeting, there were only a couple of dissenting voices with most members of the public expressing support. This resolution that will be discussed at some point is an example of the kind of step one of many which it takes to get to renew our understanding of our history. We like to be treated with dignity, which we don't believe that you are doing. Councilors say this isn't a perfect answer, but a step in the right direction. Ultimately, the council voted unanimously in favor of placing the statues. Mayor Weber says that this could lead to more positive steps when dealing with controversial pieces of history like the infamous obelisk. Gabe Chavez, KRQE News 13. In developing the plan for the statues, the city worked with the Tezuque Pueblo governor, other tribal leaders, the Fiestas Council, and the group Caballeros de Vargas.